So I promise y'all, I did not want to come back to the same spot. I had plans to go deeper, but conditions just didn't allow it. Bait shop didn't have fiddler crabs. The plan was to go grouper fishing, but maybe tomorrow I can get out there. Just trying to make the best of the day. If I can get on a good drum sheep's head bite, I'm good with that. Again, not going to spend too much time on this bridge. Today, all I have is uh, sand fleas and squid. Bait was bait shot was out of shrimp and fiddler crabs. I've caught drum off a of squid. Never sheep's head. Caught redfish off a of squid. But I really got the squid to see what those those marks are at the bottom. I thought maybe they might be look downs or spade fish. Well, there goes one. <laughs> Sand fleas getting it down, baby. Nice. A little short. Well, for my skillet, you know. We're definitely a keeper. I'm gonna hang on to him for a little bit. Nice. Single sand flea. One ounce bottom sweeper jig. Cool. I don't know how much of that sequence I got on camera. I was fumbling around with the uh, with the record button. Better one. <laughs> Looks like a drum. Yeah, that's what we came for, baby. Yes. Hell yeah. It might be short. It might be short. But that is the targeted species. Best eating fish, bruh. At least in my opinion. See what we working with here. Looks like he's 15. He's right at 16. Let me look that up real quick. Okay, there are slot fish between 14 and 24 inches. So that's a legal drum. And he's coming home for sure. Because he's delicious. <sighs> 16 inches. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, well, getting some action here. Been here about 10 minutes, got two fish. Maybe I shouldn't move off just, just yet. Feels good in that sun, man. Let me tell you. It's like 44 degrees right now. It's like I did not sign up for this. <laughs> did not move to Florida for cold weather. 
Water temp says 60. Oh man. This cold water has these fish hitting so light. It's like I'm second guessing myself. It's like, is that a hit? I come up with no bait. fish here. by this fish right now so I'm just pulling up to the second bridge and last time I was here I really didn't fish really didn't fish this side so let me see if anybody's home what really like big old black drone don't need a whole lot of fish being that I cleaned up last time I was here what if a limit presents itself I might take it there's one little sheepy You know how it goes as soon as I stop filming. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> well, hopefully, today I can get some bigger ones. This is about the size of the one I let go. bunch down there every time man as soon as I stop filming got him yeah baby no oh That's a better fish. <sighs> Get up here. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. 
And these are kind of around the same size. He's a little better. A little better. Just has some fight to him. That makes three. Yeah, a little better. That's a better one, baby. That's what we came for. Come on. <sighs> nope, they're just fighting good. Man. Now I'm thinking I should have kept those other two. All about the same size. Maybe I cleaned out the large. Maybe I cleaned out the larger ones. I mean, good eating size. You know, the smaller ones have a lot of pin bones. Picked a nice one off this corner here. Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. All right, from now on, I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling, bro. It's just back to back. Okay, that's a better one right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I came for. Sand fleas getting it done. Yeah, it's a better fish right there. <laughs> he was right on that corner munching. I never thought to fish along this wall. Since I've been so much success on the pylons. cold man can't tear the uh the bag losing some dexterity in my hands Ugh. frozen sand fleas don't help So it's pretty slow on this side as well. Slightly regretting not keeping those other two, but not really. Those are the ones from yesterday. And then today, I'm all right. Don't need to hit a home run every time. Nice haul, baby. I'm happy. Especially happy I got the, the tide to ride back on. Save me a couple minutes, hopefully. There it is. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, but I was a little disappointed in myself being that I had to get back there to that same spot. Circumstances would not let me go to where I wanted to. Uh, I think the coefficient was like 97, 98, and that's extremely high. If you're unfamiliar with what coefficient is, that's just the strength of a tide, the current, and to be out there, you know, three miles offshore by myself is just not something I wanted to do. However, I got some things planned for uh, the upcoming weeks. I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.